Hey everyone, before we get started with uh, today's video, I just want to say that my heart goes out to all those in the great country of Ukraine fighting to hang on to their homeland uh, and their lives. My wife is Ukrainian and her and I have visited Ukraine many times. Uh, the country has a very dear place uh, in my heart and we have a lot of friends and families that are suffering over there right now and we hopelessly wait and hope for their well-being through this mess. Making today's video was tough for me because I obviously have a lot on my mind right now and it's hard for me to really concentrate on anything other than what's going on in Ukraine currently. Hey, what is going on all you bus nuts, geeks, and enthusiasts out there? Welcome to another episode of Motor Coach World. My name is James. So I just got back from Long Beach, California a few days ago where I attended the United Motor Coach Association's National Bus Expo. People from not just the US, but all over the world were there along with many motor coach manufacturers and vendors. Of course, you had Prevo, MCI, and Van Hool with their latest and greatest motor coaches there in the showroom. But aside from these three big players in the motor coach industry, there were also a few really interesting brands that were there in the showroom. Temsa was there unveiling their secret brand new redesigned TS45, as well as their all-electric TS45E. They were both covered under black sheets until the unveiling, and I got it all on my live stream. If you haven't had a chance to see my live stream of the Bus Expo, go check it out. It's on this channel. I will put the links to all three live streams I did down below. BYD, a Chinese motor coach manufacturer, was also there in the showroom, as well as Irizar and Daimler Benz with their brand new Tour Rider that's breaking into the US market. Now, guys and gals, I'm still sifting through all of the footage I got from my trip to this expo. I had some really awesome interviews with some really inspiring people. First of all, the CEO of Irizar Bus USA was at the show, Mr. Daniel Scarpino, and he told me that he is a fan of my channel and that he watched all of my videos to get acclimated to how the motor coach industry works here in the US before he came here. So I was really honored to hear that. And Mr. Scarpino, I hope I'm not butchering your last name. Uh, forgive me if I am. I also had a really awesome interview with Dr. Thomas Rode, who is the CEO of Daimler Benz Coach Division in North America, as well as the CEO of Timsa Bus, Mr. Tolga Khan Doganchulu. Again, uh, Toga, if you're watching this, sir, please forgive me if I butchered your last name. I actually researched the phonetic way of pronouncing it on Google. I'm not sure if they gave me the right way, but uh, please understand I did my due diligence to make sure that I at least attempted to get your last name correctly. Now guys, I recently made a video titled Why Are Buses in North America So Ugly to Europeans? And you guys seem to really love it. I mean, I got some very passionate answers from some of you. So I couldn't miss the opportunity to ask some of these huge CEOs of European coach bus companies the same question while I was there in front of them during the interviews. But that's going to be on a separate video, so stay tuned for that one. If you want to find out what the actual CEOs of these big mega bus manufacturers in Europe, such as Temsa, which is a t in Turkey, uh, Irizar, which is a Spanish coach bus company, and of course Daimler Benz, which is based in Germany. If you want to hear what some of those CEOs had to say about whether or not they think buses in the US are ugly, well, I got some answers from them, and uh, you guys will just have to watch that video when it comes out. I also met a couple friends from Norway, Tomas and Magne are authors of Bus Magazine in Norway, and they also have a YouTube channel where they go around Europe and drive all the different models of buses over there and basically review them. I also took the time to ask Tomas and Magne the same question of whether or not they find buses in the US, well, ugly. Now to all you viewers out there, you guys will just have to wait and watch that video. It should be the next one coming out after this video, so stay tuned for that. I also got to meet Captain John. He has a YouTube channel as well. He vlogs his bus trips. He used to be a trucker. I think his videos of driving trucks are still on there. Go check it out. Link will be down in the description box below. Captain John, it was an absolute pleasure getting to meet you. I'm sorry we didn't have time to do anything more, but uh, hopefully you can come down and visit me sometime and I'll give you a tour of our facility. 
Now, guys, it would take me hours to talk about all the cool things I experienced and saw at UMA's National Bus Expo. So instead of me just talking about it, I vlogged the whole trip and I'm going to make an entire video of my trip there. That's coming out on my other channel, J Wang Vlogs, pretty soon. But today's video, guys, it's all about the brand new bus that is breaking into the US bus market. Mercedes-Benz is releasing their very own motor coach here in the US, and today, I'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look at the first two prototypes of the Mercedes Tour Rider coach that I got to crawl all around in and absorb its sheer beauty and awesomeness while I was at UMA this past weekend. So without further ado, let's roll that footage. Hey guys, so we're still waiting for Chandra to uh, meet us here. We came in here, I think before uh, they actually opened, a lot of the vendors aren't even here yet. So. Uh, I took this time to really get a closer look at this tour rider. Now, we have an interview with the CEO of Mercedes-Benz today, uh, as I mentioned before. But before this place is crowded up, I just I saw a couple things that I really wanted to point out. First of all, uh, it's just it looks really nice. It kind of looks like a motorhome uh, from the front. But the one thing uh, I noticed is this huge uh, pylon mount that. Uh, mounts onto the windows where the arm for the mirror comes out. Also, notice how close the upper mirror and the bottom mirror are to each other. You'd think the driver would, would they'd overlap, but I think when, when you're at an angle, uh, they, they don't. But that's just a really interesting design, how these two mirrors are so close to each other. And then on the other side, it's not like that because obviously the driver's rear is gonna be much closer, so you don't have the same thing going on. But still, there's this huge pylon mount that comes out from the window, but the mirrors are offset enough where the driver's window is not that close to that mirror. You can see the other two mirror from this angle. They don't really overlap each other that much. Um, the wheels look like proprietary wheels. These are Alcoa, made by Alcoa, but it looks like Mercedes has the pro uh, uh, proprietary wheel design. Overall, it's just a really sexy bus. I mean, there's this little wing that sticks out. I'm assuming that's a, a light, luggage light. And, uh, you know, one of the things about European buses is that the, the tag axles uh, turn a lot more than the buses in the US. So two questions. I wonder if that tag wheel uh, turns, is a steerable one. And, and two, I wonder how much more it turns in comparison to that of an MCI because uh, buses in Europe, uh, tag axles turn a lot more. Also, it might not turn that much at all because it, it might be like a regulation thing. Maybe in America, they don't allow tag axles to turn as much as they do in Europe. So who knows? But th those are some of the questions I got. There's another tour rider, the only difference I'm noticing is the one over there doesn't have a rear window, and the one over here has a rear window. So, but they look like the exact same model bus. I don't think, that one also has a wheelchair lift. That one's ADA equipped. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. I'm James. Hey, James. Great to meet you. I hope you don't mind me uh, walking around doing a sneak preview on your no, buses. No, I just opened it up for you, so feel free to go. Oh, thank you so much. Out. Thank you. Okay, the gentleman was really nice and opened the bus up for me. So, while there's no one here, let's climb on board. I love that. You know, first impressions, this thing looks a lot like a Cetra. Um, everything about it's a Cetra. I mean, even this, this, this rounded out part looks like a Cetra. The compartment here. Oh my goodness, Dennis. <laughs> There's a cooler here with beer. <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> Is that illegal? Wow. <laughs> oh, Blue Moon. Let's see, what, what's this? Shiner Bach. There's um, uh, St. Paul. Not These are all, that's a non-alcoholic. Uh, oh, what's this one here? Oh, that one looks good. But 
that's a great way to show off that you have a cooler in the front of your bus, but beer. <laughs> that's cool, I love it. Um, okay, let's take a look at the, this also screams Cetra. Uh, we'll take a look at the dash. What do you think, guys? Do I look like, do I look good in this? Oh, it's so spacious. You guys seen this? The dash is extremely spacious. The amount of leg room, I could stretch my legs completely out. This feels really good. It just feels good. Um, I wonder what this doohickey is. The plastic, it's probably one of those marquee signs. Really good visibility. I love how tall the window are. And again, like I was mentioning earlier, when you actually look at the mirrors, they do offset. And it actually gives you a lot of visibility for uh, your, uh, your, your, your bus. I like it, I really do. Everything's so clean. This, okay, the one thing I don't like about European buses, like the Cetras like this, the window's so massive here, and I'm sure this thing rolls down, but when you're in a lot of wind on the Cetra and you roll this down, the wind catches it and it won't roll up. It, it catches here. So I wonder if this thing does the same thing. Uh, it's definitely a design flaw of the Cetra. But um, there's an outlet there in there, lots of storage space for stuff. Uh, I love where the cup holder is. It's out of sight of the passengers. So if you bring on a big drink, uh, it's, it kind of keeps it hidden so that it looks more professional. It's not just like sticking up out here. So that's really cool. I love this little compartment. You can keep all your um, drinks there or uh, things that you need during, during your travel. Um, really good. I, I like the steering wheel, very Mercedes. Like, dash is easy to read. Let's take a look going back. Ooh, guys, are you seeing this? It's got glass roof. I'm sure not all models come with a glass roof, but uh, that makes the interior of the bus look a lot more spacious. Okay, moment of truth, the restroom. Eh, not a bad restroom. Uh, let's just hold up. Okay. Uh, negative points on that. It has Van Hool style toilet bowl. Problem with this toilet bowl is if guys come here to pee, if guys do, do come here to do number one, that's gonna splatter everywhere just because it just bounces off this. And also, if you do number two or you sit down to do your number one, it's gonna splatter all over your butt because this just creates splatter. I don't know, I've never liked this type of toilets. I love the MCI toilets. Where there's just a hole and everything just goes goes through. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this one doesn't. I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, I'm not gonna try it. I think they'd be upset if I uh, did did, did uh, number one in here right now. <laughs> you never, never know the things you do for YouTube videos. Um, trash can right here. That's interesting. Um, almost seems like a waste of space. Like you could have another seat here. Well, no, you couldn't because. The store won't open. Okay, I guess they didn't want to waste this space and uh, put a trash can there. I like the rear window. Nice big TV screens. Do they swivel? Nope, they're... Uh, oh, I, I like, okay, cool. You have a service request. Not that different from that of an airliner. Very nice. And of course, just like the Prevo, it has a clock up there. They tend to never be set right. Good morning. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. <laughs> um, let's go check out the other one, see what the differences are. The only thing I'm noticing, other than the fact that this one doesn't have a rear window, is the front headlight assembly is different. Uh, what's the difference between these two, if you don't mind? No, not a problem at all. So for, for us, we designed a business class and a premium class. So the business class is really focused on the long haul, um, and it can be upfitted somewhat to uh, mimic some of the features in the premium, but the premium um, is really for our... <laughs> no, no problem. It. So the premium uh, was really built for that top of the line luxury okay, coaches. Okay, okay. Yes, so 
when you walk through these, you'll definitely see the variations in the seating, the flooring, yeah. even in the dash cockpit area, you will see that um, that, that difference. So. Okay, so the cockpit's even different on this one. It is. Slight. I love the fact that there's beer in that bus. You know, we, we, we do come from Germany, so, uh, you know. Is that, that where is you're from? Not, no. Okay, okay. I'm just a Texas boy, okay, but okay. we know about beer too, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So absolutely. So here you'll see the, the big difference, as, as you mentioned, this one does not have the cooler. Fr the, fr oh. the refrigerator. It actually has trash cans. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Tr lots of trash. Um, but that dash can be integrated into this okay. bus if the customer will want to uh, use it. So it's this. very interchangeable. Everybody yes. Interchangeable. Major difference in between the two is about two inches. And that's two inches is going to be on this belt line, as I would call it here. So the windows and all that are the exact same. Um, windshields are slightly different, but the windows are exactly the same. Two inches from. Floor height or nope, just within this belt line. So really, it's it would be oh. standing height. Oh, the clearance height. Right. So this one's two inches lower than it, that one. That's exactly wow. right. So we're at 11, 11, and 12, one. So they had to create entirely different chassis. No nope. frame. No? no. So all they had to do was to extend the frame from here ah. to here. Okay. Okay. Every, okay. Everything from the floor down, everything from that belt line up okay. is exactly the same. Okay. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, now, has anyone in the U.S. bought any? Is there any carriers operating, or are you guys just breaking into the market? You're standing on the first two hand-built oh. units, pre-production wow. uh, units that, that we have. Are they going to change by the time they release, or do you think this is it? There will be some minor changes. Okay. That was These are kind of still pro prototypes. Yeah, total blessing for us is they, they gave us about six months to uh, take these to customers and get their feedback. So we were able to get, oh, this works, this doesn't, wow. and really be... Uh, be this, adapt to those changes. This is awesome. Wow, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some lights on for you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. And so how long have you been with the company? I've been, since we formed the company, uh, I was here about two years before we were Rev Coach and uh, Daimler then bought Rev Coach and we started Daimler Coaches North America. And, okay. Oh, I guess that was 2019, okay. 2020. So uh, yeah, a couple, a couple, two, three years. Very now. nice, very yeah. nice. So right off the bat, I'm noticing uh, there's no glass ceiling on That's this right. one, uh, but the dash, the dash looks pretty much the same. It, this one doesn't have that uh, other mirror that, that that comes out on top, I noticed that. Correct, so our top end, uh, or our premium class, does have the more European style mirrors. Yeah. Uh, the lower mirrors on that bus is just an option. Okay. So we want, did want to oh, show you don't have to have the it's lower. It's not a standard. Can you have both? You can. Okay. You can. Um, Am I, some drivers would probably not like that. Some drivers even complain so. about, yeah. Too much mirror. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, some of the cool features I'll just really quickly about the dash. So we were able to utilize our family of, of businesses on these. So these buttons here were uh, actually came from the Freightliner side, the trucking side. Okay. As you can see here, if you've ever been in a Sprinter, this is the exact same AC control system. Okay. So we're utilizing our, our family. Yeah. And, and interchangeable parts too, right? Totally interchangeable. Yeah. Wow. When you talk about interchangeability, so we even took it a step further and said, okay, these buttons here on, on many other uh, oh. models out there, you have to actually break open yeah, the Yeah, no, that's brilliant. This is a great one to show you. So. All four of these are active buttons, as you can tell, mm -hmm. and this one is the only hardwired button. Interesting. All of the others, we can truly take these out, put them in another slot, <laughs> and done. It is a coded button. Wow. So we can customize to the fleet. That is amazing. That is amazing. I Please like that. Take your time. Right. Thank you so yes, much sir. for the tour. I Absolutely. appreciate it. No Do you mind if I put this on my YouTube channel? Not at all. Okay. I've seen you out there. So oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. I knew exactly who you were. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I think I follow you. See thank you, you so much, right. man. Appreciate your time. All right. All right. Um, now, I will say, Chandra's trying to call me for the upcoming event. So, we're going to do a quick look at this. I like the ADA. Same concept. The, the chairs move up and. Uh, Probably should remount my mic. Restroom looks pretty similar. Got a blue trim. Um, wow, guys, we're on a prototype right now. They, did you hear that guy? They're, these aren't anywhere right now, but here. We're standing on two handmade coaches. All right, I'm gonna give Chandra a call. And uh, this was a tour of the two different versions of the Mercedes Tour Rider. Uh, and oh, there's Chandra right there, so I don't need to call her. What an experience. I mean, what an opportunity to uh, be there and uh, been able to do that. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, please leave your comments 
down below. I really want to hear what you guys think of the new Mercedes Tour Rider. Also, don't forget to check out my live streams of the unveiling of this coach as well as the new Temsa coaches and the ribbon cutting for the opening of the showroom floor. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I did vlog this entire trip and I'm working on editing that right now. If you want to travel with me on any of my bus adventures or trips like this one to Long Beach, just stay tuned in my other channel, J Wang Vlogs, where I basically take you guys along with me for all the cool trips I go on. That's youtube.com slash Vlogs. I'll put the link down below. Now guys, before I end today's video, I wanna give a very special thanks to Zane Gray, who is the Director of Marketing and Development at Daimler Coaches for his time and showing me around these two beautiful tour riders. I also wanna say thank you to Chandra Martinez, who works for UMA. She's the author of Bus and Motor Coach News. Go check out her website, as well as her YouTube channel called Motor Coach Minute. If you guys wanna know everything that's going on in the motor coach industry, you can find out all the headlines in just under a minute on her channel. I'll put the link to Motor Coach News website as well as the YouTube channel down in the description box below. And also finally, last but definitely not least, special thanks to Dennis Utley, the Vice President of Period Charter Coach and my mentor who followed me all over this convention being my cameraman during this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you're watching this, you are part of the Motor Coach world. And Slava Ukraini. <laughs>